Good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the Crash Course Live right here from Napa Winter Slam, coming to you from uh, right here trackside. At, as we go through uh, tech inspection, getting ready to go here, um, all sorts of fun stuff going on through the course of the day. We've already got probably, I'd say we're probably close to 60 cars here local already, and, and the line goes all the way back out to 169. I don't know if people can see here. way in the back, but you can still see cars coming in way up above the bleacher line. That's all a row of trucks and cars still coming in. As you can see behind us, we've got inspection going on. We've already seen Chris Lancaster go through line. He's had a little bit of trouble getting a stick so far. He's we've cutting. Seen, uh, <laughs> yes, he's, he, he has some cutting to do. He's cutting. We saw, so we saw some creative interpretations of the rules on the compact so far. As, uh, we've seen another one of the drivers go flying by. Again, this is presented by, uh, by, by NAP. All this made possible possible by Napa, uh, Raymond Wasowski, and Jeremy Ertman uh, putting on Napa Winter Slam again this year. Um, record turnout, better than half of the modified class. New drivers, never been yeah. in the competition here. That was super cool. Yeah, some, that was very cool. Some creative interpretations of the compact rules with a gentleman showing up with a lawnmower wheel mounted on the back end of his Lumina. So I'm sure Guy Raymond is home giving some close look at that. <laughs> and he, yeah, Guy may have actually told him about that. He, I mean, he, he may have. So I think John, or he has his own form for building compacts. Yeah, just a little but, bit. Uh, we'll also, to, uh, also you can notice uh, when, when Josh is pointing out the people coming in, the, we have three people in the stands already. <laughs> and it's uh, three hours from the show, four hours from the show. <laughs> and them stands are cold. <laughs> and they have, there's blankets out. It's, this is awesome, man. But you know what? It's not. I mean, it's, it's got to be close to 30. Mid oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's beautiful out, really. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. I mean, it's going to be a great day. It's, it's 25 degrees warmer than it was in, in New York. All of that. I All mean, of that. You, we absolutely cannot complain about the weather. We definitely no. overpacked. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We oh, overpacked yeah. all day. A yeah. uh, little bit of a, of a time-delayed presentation that we got here, so if, uh, if you're just tuning in, uh, we, are, we are a little bit late getting on there. Apparently, in the bottom of a river valley, when Verizon tells you that you have 4G, it means you don't have an Internet connection. Well, you know, <laughs> salesmen. It's, it's all a matter of <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm salesman. Right? Don't trust the salesman. <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're going to have a great day. We're going to be running a couple ground cameras for the DVD production a little bit later. We get to announce here this year. Um, it's going to be a ton of fun. The uh, the lineup, I saw the 16X come through, one of the W bodies that uh, Tony Brellinger has talked so much about in the most recent issue of Derby Inc. Magazine, which, yep. is, which is out in distribution right now. Um, he has a W body here that he uh, said it was hard for him to build because the rules were so simplified. And uh, we met him, and... Interesting, interesting to learn about him. Uh, we we all talk about DVDs. He was still talking about VHSs that he found in a ditch near a near. Wow. A, um, yeah. Let's wow. Go. You're gonna go there. <laughs> I that, was, that was that wow. was one of the most bizarre conversations I've ever had. Yes. But uh, let the record so, show Josh and I were nowhere near that conversation. <laughs> it was it was interesting. <laughs> got to got to spend some time with Brandon Tyson, who's working inspection. He's gonna be on the berm with his. his uh, Brandon's such his a buddy, good dude. His yeah. buddy Canadian Chad, who I don't think's Canadian. <laughs> but he's now <laughs> we've dubbed him so <laughs> yeah we watched uh, me and Buell went and watched Colton go through inspection you know we, we ran right up there to see that and I'm telling you did what, he get a man, stick for a shot no uh, absolutely not he's cutting uh, through oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta tell you some really great ideas out here today guys are really taking the rules and, and manipulating oh that's, and, you gotta uh, do that the good thing is these guys are making them caught but there's some really good thinking out there and it's just fun to watch some of these ideas well, it's like, it's so simple. Some of the ideas are so damn simple, but you look over it every time. Oh, absolutely. Every time you look over it. Well, you know what it is? It's, you know, I think these guys have got to the, the, the stage of building where they don't look for one big thing. They look for ten little That's things exactly right, right. that add up to a big thing or bigger than the one big thing. You know, 100% it's right. it's uh, you know that that's really to where these builds have become to where you're not going to find that one huge gain well, anymore. It, it's like when yeah, I well, used the end is greater than the sum of all parts. You know, <laughs> when you look at when you put all those little, I mean, that's 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 no different. We've seen, how many times have we seen that? Yeah, yeah, lots of some. You do that when you build a car. I mean, the car that you got here tonight. How many hours of work you got on that, I Decker? I haven't seen it. <laughs> I haven't seen it in there yet. <laughs> nah, the Bandau's a damn man. I mean, Bandau sent a picture out this morning at 447 of his car finally painted. Yeah. There's not a lot of dudes like that, no, man. Sam and it makes me feel really guilty because I wouldn't have worked that hard on a car. And he's For a yourself. Dude. No, I wouldn't, Brian. You know me. For yourself. Yeah, well, I'm changing an axle on the track. And, and uh, this guy's just been on it now for I'm going to load that broken axle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sam is definitely one of the good guys at Derby, without a doubt. Of course, we got we to gotta send a, a, a hello out to our, our, our fourth team member, Ben, who is ben. still home recouping. You know, it would be great to have him here so he could go out and check out the inspection and come back and tell us what's going on. 
you know, ho ho hopefully the next show we'll be uh, we'll be back up to full strength and you know Ben will be telling us what's going on with the inspection and what guys are doing and what to expect. But there is some nice iron here again. Oh, yes, I say this year there are some. There's there was nice iron here last year. I'm not oh, yeah. saying that. It's definitely stepped up. The amount of Cadillacs here oh, yeah. and that kind of stuff, and the, yeah. and the shockers are just yeah. Yeah. Our style, man. Cadillac is, is going to ruin somebody's day. Who's that? Chris, Chris Lancaster. Lancaster. The uh, magician. I, so is Colton's. <laughs> oh, yeah. We haven't even seen um, Yanni's got to come through here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yoni or Yanni? Yanni. Yanni. I'm sorry Justin if I'm missing. But Yanni's his Cadillac Yanni. looks insanity. And yeah. you know, you know, something to just kind of talk in the back of your mind, who was posting all the pictures of Dustin Yanni's car? Who was <laughs> Mr. Anderson. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll build that one. Yeah. He, he might have. He might have been on the phone once or twice. It sounds. It it's looks sharp. Compact guys. Cans and backs are all here. Mm -hmm. They've they've changed the berms here this year. They're much more vertical than they were last year. So if you get pushed into one of these berms, you're going into it. You're gonna not get out. Yeah, yeah. You're versus, not. Versus versus last year where you were going up and over. I think it'll be one of those if you get up with your back bumper and it touches that, it'll just slide right up the bank and there you are. I mean, you... you it'll be like Blizzard Bash. Yeah, you're exactly. You're going to be able to use it as a tool. Exactly. You're going to be able to use it as... Because you're not... You know, the, the track is going to get greasier throughout the day. So you have no track. You're not going to have as much track. Yeah, even if the little and bit of tires touch, you, you ain't moving. We've, we've already seen guys have prepared for a frozen track and it's going to be greasier than it was last year. So today's one of those days. I hope you brought some different tires. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you better start Pete hands it. I was gonna say today's the day you need Pete's 16 sets of tires to figure out what you're gonna run. But yeah, it's a late model effect. But it's you know summer or summer slam season. Uh, winter slam. I mean, it's it's, <laughs> it's it big, get bigger. <laughs> too much. You know, too much WWE for you. Now the track right now actually doesn't is not that bad. I no. mean, Buell and I were out there no. for a little bit. It's not. You get a good look at. It. You're the gonna get some fine. movement. You're gonna see tires oh, spinning for oh, sure, yeah. but. You get some movement on it. They're we opening with the trucks. Yeah. We're gonna do. We're gonna have best appearing paint first, then we're gonna open with the trucks, and the narrow tires are gonna be on a little bit later in the program. Yep. Which I think that's. I think that's a good move. You don't it's, want the, the compacts. The compacts get bite wherever because they, they have all the weight over the front, front end. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I mean, if if they were dra again, I, you know, I've, I've touched this a hundred times, and some people probably hate it, but the way that you know those guys were driving, it's gonna be a great show no matter where you put them on, because those compact guys were driving it last year. And it's, Everybody was. It's a tough awesome. thing. It's a tough thing here because do you want to? Is this a derby that you want to try to drag on all day? No, well, not really. No, so you want you, stuff made junk. Yeah. Quick. And last year, last year, great show. Not knocking at all, but the trucks were so damn hard yeah, that for could. a half an hour we sat here watching two of them. I think Kenny Rosno had a problem. They're carrying his bumper back. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, where are your bumpers at? Uh, oof, I don't even know. I can't see the backside of it. 75 Mopar. No, it's no, GM it's for sure. Definitely GM shocks. Yeah, that's Oldsmobile. That that's Oldsmobile. It's got them holes on the back. I'm surprised how popular the Oldsmobile bumper is out here. I don't I'm like very it. very surprised. You know what it is? They're is loading them. They're, well, that, and they're well, running out of stuff. Well, 100%. 100%. They're running out of I mean, but you got to, and we've said it before, it's like cars. You know, the, the the seventy six breeds innovation. Yeah, the the seventy six Impalas are running low, so now you got to start building the the Pontiacs and the the Catalinas right. and yeah, Oldsmobiles right. and you know. Remember and the blade bumpers? No. Did you ever do anything with those? No. On the fronts of the Pontiacs. What do you mean? They got that. that just, I, I think it was a Pontiac bumper. It, was, it wasn't real tall. It was just a real. real oh, the railroad style. style? Yeah. yeah. They come on yeah. Oldsmobiles like uh, seventy three ish. I run them a couple but times. But I mean, the bumper's only about that tall. Yeah, I, I call them railroad bumper. The backing, I've run them a bunch, and I know a lot of guys that like them. I hate them. The backing on them is ugly. You can't wall it to anything. It's they're just. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 73. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. 73 yeah, old is the. Cordoba pulled up into inspection line. Correct. Cordoba. Two door Cadillac. Is it? Come on, Brian. Where are you from? There's no leaf springs in that. Where? The 11 to the look. 007. That's a two door Cadillac. The 007. That's a 77 8 Cadillac. The, the windows, I thought the window, they got me, I'm sorry. Are you talking about the 007? Yeah. If you, if you don't look That's down. Flynn. That's a, that was one of the heavy hitter finishers from last year, and he ended up finishing third overall. He had one of the Smashed Empire films in cars last year. Nice. Cool. And uh, he finished, he ran at Blizzard Bash this year, and he's also a local promoter up here coming over, and he, he, and, he and Randy worked fairly close together, on, uh, and, and Stacey's back again to support the show. I'm, uh, you know, I'm seeing a lot of different guys trying stuff. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Take, this a step, take a step back that way so that uh, we, can, we can get a good, there's a good look at Stacey's car right there. Yeah. I think this is one of those kind of shows where if you got an idea, this is where Dude, you try it. Yeah, you know, Chris Lancaster was saying last night, he's like, this isn't a high dollar show, so it's not where you're, you're, you're nuts and you want everything to be perfect. This is kind of one of those ones you go try stuff and, out. And you know what's kind of crazy is I think it pays. Two well, grand. 
Two, two grand, grand to win. Somewhere in here. That's huge paying at home. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mean, That'd be my huge. best. Oh, that'd be my best iron for that. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> I'm running a $2,000 to pay win show in June, and I'm, I'm going to do the best I can. Uh, no. It's amazing. It's funny. That's really funny. But... <laughs> You know, that's, and that last year I was talking to Randy. I said something about Rob back wagons. He's like, "Yeah, they won't run on my show." I'm like, "Why not?" It's not a high I don't pay enough. And I was right. like, "Whoa, okay." Well, you got to think a round back shell is more money than they're paying out oh, here. Oh, that's yeah, that's true. <laughs> You're losing that's before true. you get your shell. That's true. I saw a guy post on Facebook that he sold his round back for six grand as a derby card. It's got it. It's on Facebook. It has to be true. <laughs> that's the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> I don't believe you. Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine the Benjamins if they still had the stash of round backs they used to have? Oh, they would be millionaires now. Oh my God, <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> you know what's interesting? I see on these caddies, guys are putting their own. Of course, guys are doing their own training cross members. You're allowed to here. Yep. Usually, usually, you how don't. Is, how important is it being able to put your cross member on those caddies? It's <laughs> very it's game changer. Game changer. Yes, totally. The thing about it, though, is usually a, a word of thumb is you don't tilt a Cadillac. And the reason why is, for the most part, the mid-70s, early 70s are pretty straight railed. <laughs> yeah. Lancaster went and tipped Lancaster, his. Lancaster did not get that memo. He did not. <laughs> but I'm interested to see what happens. You know, uh, me and Brandon Tyson last night had a great conversation about he it. He did a 73 that way at Wadena, too, didn't he? Or did he just but you got to remember, it? Wadena was allowing skid plates. Well, yeah, true. And skid plates is a game changer. Because, yeah. I mean, you're virtually you're putting a kicker between your tranny and engine cross member, and you will not bend it be no. at your firewall. You might bend it at the back seat, but you're not bending it. <laughs> See, these guys today are have tra And this is what I'm interested too. Tranny, you're allowed a tranny brace, and you can put that SOB in there tight as you want, but you're not allowed a distributor protector. So you have to cut behind your distributor, so you're, you're soft there, but you yeah. have your tranny brace jammed in that SOB against your tranny cross member. Can, it's going to be interesting to see how stuff bends tonight. Can, can we get the full word out instead of SOB just, 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 to, <laughs> just, just to make Ben just happy? Get son of a bitch. <laughs> just gets mad. <laughs> That's funny. For our body. <laughs> that son of a bitch, right? <laughs> but I'm interested because yeah. that's something that people aren't – we're not even getting there yet, and yeah. these guys are going and testing new methods, which yeah. – you know, I've seen some Cadillacs dump in the front. Yeah. And, you know, Brandon says it's because they were tilted. We're going to find out today. You know, all of a sudden you see Brand you see uh, Chris Lancaster's bumper in the ground. We all learned something today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or if you see him win the Derby, we learned something else today. Absolutely. So it's something to pay attention to today. The magician, Chris Lancaster. And if he finished fifth, you got to wonder if maybe he did that on purpose. Mm. Keeps the secrets to himself. Mm. I think that was the key with Josh Decker last year. I think he shut it off at fifth because you know he didn't want to. He wanted to keep secrets. No, yeah, what derby were you at? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was struggling for twenty minutes in that SOV. <laughs> I saw him Mike Tyson a steering wheel. Oh, I was fighting. <laughs> I eventually got to the point where my arms were hurting so bad I gave up. I yeah. just started gas pedaling it, gas yeah. brake, gas. It's like I'm done with yeah. these little spaghetti arms. I'm not doing much out there. Yeah, That's right. it's it's you got a nice looking coat today, by the way. Oh, thank you. I know it's sharp. <laughs> Where'd warm. you get that? Oh. Our, our good buddies got us. And you know what? They, they gave it to us to stay warm today, and just, I put this jacket on. And well, of course. I mean, Josh Decker's soft. I mean, let's be really honest. So, yeah, I am, You know, man. Chris and I are on the side of sweatshirts, but, you know, Josh over here, he had to go break out the coat. I got to stay warm. I got to stay loose. I got to keep the muscles. You I know. Just, I just want you to know that about underneath this, I'm wearing about five layers, so <laughs> don't feel bad about your coat. <laughs> I don't have a lot of layers of... Say it. Finish natural, that natural insulation. So I, I don't know, but I, I see you jump into bed last night. You're not as skinny as I once thought. No, dude. I, but I, that's why I'm. Yes. Thank you, Brian. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> what a jerk. Thank you. Well, I, I saw <laughs> Ryan in full long johns. He did. I wanted to take a you picture. Of picture. I told him no. He was like a 40 year old baby. It was awesome. <laughs> I wanted to take a picture of it. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, was a good <laughs> forty-year-old baby. <laughs> forty-one. That's uh, give me all, give, give give me whatever. At forty-one. You know, it's so funny because Buell slept in our room last night, and between the three of us, oh my god, no one would have been able to sleep in that room because Dude, I woke up and I heard Buell. He was looking right at me, like sideways, <laughs> blowing that noise at me. Dude, I don't even know what the noise was. It wasn't snoring. Can you say that that's the strangest noise you've ever heard? He a is human not body healthy. Make? No, <laughs> that was bad, dude. That was that was really bad. What time did you guys go back to the room? About 11:30, 11, 11, 11, 30, 12 o'clock. Yeah. yeah, yeah, something like that. The bar closed and it was kind of. Oh no, it was still going strong. We just were. We'd finally tapped out. We were. I was tired. It was kind of a long day. Well, Rosno was pointing out a guy that puke all over his arm was going around shaking everyone's hand. I'm like, I got to get out of here before the guy gets over here. <laughs> I don't want him shaking. That we were uh, up, we were up with Brandon Tyson, and we were with uh, um, uh, Candace, 
Yep. And uh, I gotta find and, Candace. And I don't even. We had, we had a, we had a cast of characters come and come and visit us up there, which was well, cool you, to see all them. You, you guys yeah. text me a couple times, and every time you would text, somebody else would come in and be like, "Hey, what's going on?" And then Josh came back in, and we hung out for a while. And well, the guys from E2 Slider was there. And oh, Elvis, Elvis Thump. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, see, uh, I I I knew one of them was Elvis. I wanted to go and talk to them, but everyone was all over them, and it's yeah, like, I don't want right. to be that guy. Yeah. And he jumps in the pile and is like, I'm Josh Ducker. Yeah. Like, shake my hand. Yeah. Hi, sir. <laughs> I mean, very, very cool guy. All I good mean, guys. Bought you know, some good beers. Group. Yep, you absolutely. Know, that's cool. Uh, that's the one thing Edgar I love. from the team. He Travis. Was, yeah, uh, Travis was there. He he talked to me for quite a while. Um, KO Motorsports guys were there. They, yeah. uh, they uh, Kunkel or Motorsports. Don't know. They were there Never for quite a while shooting the breeze. Me and Brian <laughs> just bashed on Daniel for like half an hour. Oh, good. It was fun. <laughs> it was a good time. I had to give it back to him a little bit. He's a good kid. Yeah, we, when he came in, when he came in, he came into the uh, he came into the hotel room or the uh, the hotel lobby. Josh runs to the door of the of the, uh, uh, the the bar downstairs. He sticks his head around the thing. And he goes, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> well, when Carly walked in, I started booing. Yeah. She's like looking at me like this. I just, I just wanted you to feel welcome, like at your hometown fair. Right. <laughs> That's funny. That's real funny. That's. Uh, nah, I was actually. You know what I love drink going out drinking with Derby guys is like when you get to the bar. And maybe it's my way too, but like you just buy everybody room? who's around. Who's you know? It's like no one says. No one's like being stingy. It's like no. oh, I'll buy you beer, I'll buy you beer. Yeah. Then you got. Yeah. I had a bunch of open. I'm like I don't. I, I, yeah, I'm Josh drinking like, seven and sevens all day. Josh's <laughs> like, can you can you drink this far? I'm like, nah, <laughs> you gotta finish that, buddy. I, I can't do that. Uh, I was drunk. We uh, I was drunk. I think we got back to our. The, the last text message that I sent to anybody was at two thirty. You walked in around two thirty. Two o'clock. Yeah, yeah two two o'clock. Because I woke up and I'm like, it's two two o'clock. <laughs> two o'clock yeah. local time. It's yeah. three o'clock. Yeah, three o'clock. Right. Home. right. Yeah. I was exhausted. I mean, after that flight, I couldn't imagine staying up as late as you guys did. Yeah. Dude, when in Rome, be as, do, do as the Romans, That's right? true. That's Absolutely. True. Brandon Tyson said, you're not allowed to leave. I'm like, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon's a really good guy. He's yeah. having a rough morning, though. Did you talk to him? Yeah. Yeah, he's his not feeling real well. His tail is between his legs yeah. right now. <laughs> he learned. He learned. Don't mess with the New Yorkers. Yes. Yeah, that's what he learned. <laughs> <laughs> Our buddy uh, Kenny Rosano going through inspection as we yep. speak. Kenny, guarantee he's here. cutting. Oh yeah, he's <laughs> definitely cutting. Yeah, cutting. Kenny. Uh, let me move. Can you see his car from my? Yeah, we'll, I'll get out of the way. You should be able to see Kenny. Yeah, Good look at the go. black and or uh, the uh, white and blue WFO car. Kenny has changed a couple head gaskets. Got a bad head. You want to yeah. come back into the he shop takes, for us? If you're gonna yeah. lean, at least lean in front of the camera. I'm not. Yeah, you're way out there. We can't really see it. It's kind of. I can see it fine. What I can't see is an internet signal here. Well, you know. <laughs> Duh. On off, on off, on off, on off, on off. It's like that's not that's not working well. Well next year at this time we'll probably have that satellite, so that, that's gonna help us a lot. Uh, I don't know. This is this is the land internet forgot apparently. <laughs> Even with a satellite, we can magnetize it to the top of the rental. <laughs> but which by the way, do- dollar, um, your pricing chart online is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you knew that. <laughs> Thank you for that. When Thank you for that welcome to Minnesota. Tier B companies, you know they're going to jam it to you on the backside. Yeah. Thank you for our welcome to Minnesota. <laughs> we should have just called Candace. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, took my hand, she took me by the hand and said, by the way, you need to come with us to sign a bunch of forms that we need to do it in this back room. And I got back there and she goes, now take your pants off because you're about to get boned. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was an interesting experience. Check out the front of this caddy that's going to nice. come back through inspection here. He's just got a, I don't know if it's a strap or it's actually square tubing, but you ain't going to get through the front of that course port. No. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's stock. Can I run that at your show? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that guy did you could do. <laughs> Brian, move out way. Let them see that. Can you see that in that picture right there? Look at the front of that. There it is. Looking right that's at a you. homemade course support. That's what that is. He <laughs> made that whole course support. You don't think Mark would let that run, huh? No, Mark, no. do not let that run. <laughs> <laughs> that, that definitely not. The, obviously isn't the, decal, rod rule the decal on the taillight panel on that says stock is F. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta find that guy. You, I gotta get a bunch of stickers. Yeah, you took, got a bunch of stickers last year. I used them all. I gotta get some more. Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Decker's car is coming down into line. Josh, with, in all seriousness, that is the best you, looking car I was gonna you've say, ever do, driven. Do you think this will be the best Mopar, best built Mopar you've ever yes. been in? There's not no a doubt in my mind. There's, I'm not even questioning that. I cannot build to that level. I don't have the equipment he has. To, just, just the pictures we were seeing. I mean, we haven't even. We haven't even Josh, of, Josh is driving it. And he hasn't even looked at it up close. I, I want to look at it up close and see, you know, what is going by. It's got four. It's got four chrome rims on the side. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's so high end to me. Big yeah. slider shaft. 
What's that? Pink slider shift. Pink slider shift. I'll pass on that. That's so, that's so you can see it when it when comes it, off. Uh, no. Explodes oh, off underneath your car. That's a pretty good slider. That's that's not coming off. I don't know. I see a pretty good slider explode at Blizzard Bash. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it did happen, didn't it? Yeah. I can't. I'm so excited to run that car. It's you know I was saying to Brian this morning, such a double-edged sword because it's it's so exciting to have somebody build you a car, but on the backside of it, the amount of hate it brings with it. I don't know if it's you know <laughs> the amount of negative I've heard on my Facebook today. It's like, eh. that's all right. Because you know what, you're gonna drive it, and they're not. So be I'm happy. gonna love every second of it. Absolutely. Man. I'm gonna owe Sam big time. Absolutely. You know, I, you, uh, I, maybe maybe someday Sam will come to New York and you know when you go wide open. Got some JYD guys coming up here. Yep. Leaving some tires. Right? Throwing some tires around. Those are your tires. What's up, guys? What's new? Perfect. We'll get them taken care of. There we go. Parker Coffin. Thank you, guys. Yep. Definitely. I need those. <laughs> Think we can carry them on? They're too tall. Those are those are carry on. What are those? Twenty seven. <laughs> I don't have my tape measure handy. Uh, if I was gonna guess, Ben could stand here and tell you how tall that was exactly. Twenty seven. Well, they're either twenty sevens, twenty fives, or twenty threes. Yep. Forklift sizes. Whoa. Whoa. Pop. Chris just blew something up. That's awesome. Just a little pop. Ear drum. Yeah, nothing big. You're fine. Just an eardrum. You guys. You guys right now it's warmer around. than it was last year. Oh, absolutely. All day. Chris Marquardt, who's winning the main show? Who main is show? winning the Wild Class? You know what? I got it. 2015 right now, Winter Slam. It's, it's right now. Or will make a car. Yeah, well, it's going to be Cadillac that wins. Wow. <laughs> 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 And I, I think I, for these rules, though, a Cadillac is it's, it, that's, stronger that's the, than a where Scott is going to be. It's, it's, I, I agree. Where you want to be. The thing is, though, is, I mean, can, can you knock the wheels off a, a Cadillac? And You're not going to knock the back wheels out of these ones, any no. of this stuff. These no, are all no, built no, no, no. rears, yes. all con built control arms. You ain't going to knock the rear. The only thing you can do is knock front tires off. Yeah. If you knock the front tires off and they lose steering and you shove them up in the bank, but even with the even with that, I mean, they're allowed to pull their a arms, weld their a arms to their rails and stuff. So you're 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 not going to be bending a arms as much. I mean, you're literally going to have to break something, break a ball joint, break so it. Drive hard, out. drive hard and go forward, right? You know what's up? <laughs> I want to drive hard today, but that ain't my stuff. <laughs> you know, you you blow up Sam's motor. I don't have the cash for that, Sam. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Okay. Sorry, Sorry Sam. We're heading back to New York today. Yeah. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not paying for that. I think if you sold every derby car and part you had, you could pay for the motor. Not going to happen. Yes. Not, think, that's I not going to happen. You, back, you know what Jimmy Johnson always says to me? Josh goes, is planning on running 13 derbies no, by no. June. He's he, he's cut down. He's only going to run six. Yes. A month. Six. Until yeah, November. Yeah, yeah, a month. <laughs> All right. On with your thought, Josh Decker. Jimmy always says to me, so every... He's like, I see your stuff. Sell it all. Get rid of every bit of it. And buy, over. and buy just some fresh stuff. But, you know, Jimmy does that. He says, like, every couple of years, he'll just get rid of everything and then upgrade everything brand new yeah. and then run it a bunch, fine-tune it, get rid of it. Well, I was I was talking to a friend back home, and uh, he just bought a Malibu. Nice Malibu. It's got a crate motor in it, brand-new crate motor, uh, new transmission. And he was asking about stacks and stuff, and we were going back and forth, and I said that, you know, I was hoping to buy some stuff for this year. And he's like, yeah, but don't you have all that stuff? And I said, I do, but it's all old. Right. And, I mean, you know, I'm, my, the big show I'm planning on running this year is, is, you know, King's Old School, obviously. And I'm like, if I'm going to run that every year, why not have the good stuff Agreed. until, you know, either A, it wears out, B, I get sick of it and retire and sell it. So that's that's kind of where I'm thinking. And that's, you know, if you're going to run big shows, you know, and then that's almost what you got to do. Yeah, the backside of it, too, is, like, we all take pride in our stuff. Like, you show up at a show and, and you're the worst built car, it sucks. Trust me, I've been there. Yeah. It's absolutely. not a great feeling. No. You know, it's like, damn, dude. And, you know, but on the back side of it, you usually do, just because you have the shittiest car, you don't always get last place. No. You no. know? Totally. No. That's that's 100% true. Yeah. I mean, that, you know, and that's the thing. Like, we were talking on the way here, you know. I remember the first time I f put four snow tires all the way around a car, and I thought I had the coolest that car is, yeah. in the world. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I thought I had the coolest car in the world, and, yep. you know, that was going to make it tough. And But, you know, it, that's kind of how we all start, I really think. Chris, yeah. what do you think? About which part? I was just watching Everything. one of the stock trucks come through, and those are not the stock trucks that are what we have at home. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> stock is such a relative term. It's just yeah. a, a word. <laughs> yeah. It's so open. Well, you know, it, back it's, on that. it's Minnesota stock. Yeah. That's, I mean, it's, it's that Minnesota is, that stock. That is a legit term out here. Well, you got to think. Like, our, our space from stock to stock is like this. But yeah. Blizzard Bash and then stock, there's a wide gap. I was just saying it to Brandon. I said, last year these trucks were so hard. If you built one this year, 
you're building in between that section because you're saying to yourself, well, everyone else is going to build harder. You're not building stock. No. You would. No one no. would. He no. said that every single truck out there has been caught in, which I've, I've seen some of them. It's, they ain't stock. No. No. Surprisingly high number of uh, Ford wagons today. Yeah. Yeah, there has been a lot of Ford wagons. A lot of them. Yeah. But they, they were talking. They but mean, I mean, that's all. I mean, as far as I can tell, it's. Well, I mean, the, you know, it's all pretty good stuff. Yeah. Everybody, everybody <laughs> runs the the Crown Vics. Well, what's the difference in a Crown Vic car and a Crown Vic? You know, the back end of a Crown Vic wagon. You know, what I mean, if you, if you can figure out how to make the back end do what you want, you know, yep. you, you're golden. Yep. I mean, you, it's getting to the point where you got to try that. You Isn't know? that that? I mean, that's pretty much that's pretty much the key for any derby car. Just yeah. Getting, Get it to do what you want. I mean, if if you're the first guy that that has the dominant, you know, Crown Vic wagon that junks everybody, then everyone wants it. You know, everyone more wants famous it. Than Josh Decker. <laughs> Josh, what was the first dominant car you built, and everybody copied you? <laughs> Diplomat. <laughs> Pretty sure that never happened. <laughs> Pretty sure that year, you went to Whitney Point and junked Richie and Brett and Robbie Brown and Jesse Howe and Still Mark Benjamin and Harold yeah, Benjamin. <laughs> what year was that? All in one show. Still waiting for that day. That has not happened yet. Like looking back on, on days when I used to run, there was no chance I was ever going to win. No. Like the list of guys that were in my area, I was probably 47th on the totem pole oh, every yeah. time I ran. You know, and, and I've had a struggle in play, and that's also why I suck. <laughs> I can't ever get a break. <laughs> <laughs> Got some, of the best, some of the best in the country, like ten minutes from my house. Yeah, so. yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, that's the thing is, and I, I mean, if you seriously though, in all in all seriousness and without any joking, if you look at the guys from starting Shemong and go to Owego and just count the Derby wins. Oh my, thousand. Yes, count thousands. the Derby wins. I mean, there is just you know, you grew up in a you know, and and in the opposite where I live, I mean, there was you know, there was one guy that could consistently compete. And beat the Benjamins. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that was it. One guy. You know, one guy. Who was the one guy? Dave Harrington. And uh, you know, and he they did. I mean, they would battle and battle and battle. And but you know, I unfortunately didn't grow up in in, in the Derby. You know, I, I, like that. You know. Uh, you know, it's it's funny a little bit because a little bit did it help me? It did. Oh yeah. Because I was getting junked. I'm telling you, the first 80 cars I built. I didn't get past fifth place, yeah. and it wasn't because I, I know everyone's going to say my shit sucks. Yeah, and the second eighty cars got you to fifth place. <laughs> if you would take out some of them, if you would have taken out just like core guys, yeah, oh yeah, I would have been in there all the oh, time, absolutely. and I, that's why I never gave up. Because someday they're going to retire, and someday I say this to Brett all the time. I go, "You're the king right now," but I'm just going to sneak right behind you, and one day I'm going to be the king. <laughs> but and, and that's the thing, though. I mean, you you look, and I mean, I, you know, it's we we talk about this because it's what we know at home. But I mean, it's the same way out west. I mean. You know, let's say that your hometown fair happens to be Jimmy Johnson's hometown fair. <laughs> I mean, you're chances serious. are you're probably not going to win that a whole lot when Jimmy Johnson's around. Maybe you know, if your hometown is C.J. Barnes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, look at, you know, Daniel Ort. I mean, he runs, Daniel, yeah. you know, he, they run against JYD all year long. I mean, that's, that's no tough, fun. Uh-huh. I mean, and who do, who do they pull in the first round of Blizzard Bash? JYD. You know, I think they had the toughest draw out of anybody at Blizzard Bash. Yeah, team match. You know, Absolutely. They, they, those guys, and they were, I mean, they battled them to the end. It's not like they got they, run over. They wore out their stuff. Yeah. Both sides of that equation wore I mean, out their stuff. It was tough. But sometimes but, great competition makes you better. Oh, like, absolutely. I, I, I believe think that. A lot of times, think about how many times in derbies you hear guys, like, say they're, they don't use the word scared. But yeah. You know what's scared. Oh, oh that guy this, that guy that. It's like, hey, listen, today's competition. You're not the best one here. Yep. Go fight your battle. Yeah, go. And just go build another day, yeah, man. Take, take your whooping and go home and lick your wounds and come back next year. I used to get so frustrated because I spent a lot of time and effort. I used to bring six cars to my county fair, and I couldn't make the feature. Yep. And it wasn't because I had junk. Trust me. I yeah. spent in the money. Oh, yeah. You had, you always, you've always had nice cars. And I can't. I But also, I, it was a Josh drive inside me to cars. beat these guys. Josh also scraps cars. I didn't even have the spark while plug wires changed. No, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those guys used to say it to me. I used to get my ass whooped, and I'd be so frustrated at my truck. And Robbie Brown always used to come and put his arm around me and say, dude, it's just one more derby. Just go build another one. He's yeah. like, you'll beat them the next time. You yeah. will beat these guys. And yeah. he's been my – he used to be such a drive for me. It's like, eventually you will beat these guys. Yeah. You will learn the tricks. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, that's the thing. I mean, you grow up that, – that's one of the downsides of growing up in an area like that is it's so yeah. hard to compete. I mean, look, look at the – I mean, everybody used to run Whitney Point. You know, I mean, yes. you look at the oh features there, and mm. you I know, got some great videos. You know, it's, it's amazing. I mean, it's. But you then know. when I come out here, like, I think it's helped me. It's prepped me for this show because let's be honest. When I go somewhere, I'm getting junked. Oh, absolutely. 
If I got 40 guys in my heat, you know that 39 of them door. don't like me. Yeah. For whatever. And that's fine. I understand. I get that. I get, and I'm at their home and I get that. Yeah, absolutely. But also, I've learned such great defensive driving oh, that yeah. it doesn't bother me. It's yeah. like, okay, these guys are going to junk me. Well, welcome to my hometown fair. Yeah. I've been getting junked like this for 20 years. Yeah. And it don't bother if, me. In, in front of 3,000 people Absol- that know you. Yeah, all my friends. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you're not going to go out here and sit sideways in the middle of the track for 10 minutes on somebody knock your tires off. I mean, you've learned, you know. I, I, you know, That it, is it, Brian. Is, it, is is there a chance that three guys are going to hold you and three more are going to drive you? Yeah, that's a chance, but you're not going to make the dumb mistake. Don't hold still. But I'll no. tell you this, like, sometimes that, that stuff makes me smile because if someone beats me one-on-one, I get frustrated with myself because yep. it's like, come on, I'm a good driver. I feel like I'm a good driver. Absolutely. But when you're getting beat by multiple guys, you have to step back and say, There's a reason why there's multiple I'll guys. That. I'll take that smile as yep. I was a threat to you, and that's yep. I'm okay with that. You yep. guys got me today. I'll get you tomorrow. Yep. It's, you know, sooner you, later, upset. you know, You know what Brett says? Sooner or later, you, you just you just got to get things straight now because you don't like the old people too long. You like to get all them debts <laughs> caught up. That's what he's, he's told me a million times. See, I'm the kind of guy, when I get mad about something, I scream right now. And a lot of, is the older yes. you get, you learn Very with true. a lot of guys. Sorry. You learn with a lot of guys that... <laughs> That patience True. in the long, the long term patience yeah. sometimes. Is, I want is Josh better. Decker to listen back to this part of the show. Cause I know it. I, I know it. I need to change listen. it. <laughs> My boss always tells me he's like, you always are yelling with your emotions. It's like, well, I'm pissed. <laughs> you know, when I'm pissed. It's, when I'm it, pissed, I'm pissed. It's the Siciliano coming yeah, out. Yeah, Italiano, you. man. No doubt about it. I mean, in the old country, so, you, you know, I'm a salesman. Kenny, so Kenny, that's Kenny Rosno on his way back to the pits, taking a long, slow drive back to his pit stall with no stick. So he's got some cutting to do. We kind of knew that, but he was in the inspection line for about a half hour. <laughs> that was a long one. <laughs> <laughs> we got to think. There's a lot of cars, Chris. They haven't come off the trailers yet. I mean, inspection line's full. Yeah, and, and it wraps around. I mean, it's there's a lot of cars still to go through, and there's a lot of cars that don't have sticks yet. The nice thing that they're doing here is who's chiming? Is that me? It could be that's me. you, Chris. It is. Um. The, uh, they're only letting guys go in through inspection one time. Uh, that's the way to do it, man. And I think on days like this where it's cold, you're time sensitive, you got to be a jerk. you got to say, oh, listen, absolutely. I'm going to give you one chance. You come back through it, good night. Because, again, their heats are pretty much full. So you send a couple guys home for not listening, it doesn't affect the show. No. It's not like our no. hometown where everyone says, then we're all loaded. Yep. <laughs> it ain't going to happen yep. today. Yeah. No. You know how we are. It's like, we're all loaded then. It's like, okay. <laughs> Has anyone actually been to Derby or everybody loaded up? Yes. Really? Oh, yeah. Where? Where I was that? at Thunder Mountain. Brett and Richie showed up with two cheater Imperials. No. I, had a, I had a fresh Imperial. No. And I was going to win this Derby, right? No one's there. Five minutes before this Derby started, here come these guys. And they cheated, dude. You can, Listen, he knows. He'll admit it. <laughs> both admit it. You you know you will. And uh, I started. I'm like, I ain't running against them. And we all we all loaded or they would run, and, and they ended up not running. Really? Yeah. That's and cool. that, that was Half the part of the reason Brett still hates me. And did you, <laughs> and did I was you win? mad that night. Did no, I did not win. Who be you? It come down to me, my brother. I think Robbie Brown was there in a, in a Supreme Imperial. I'm going to say Robbie Brown. The, the yeah, great, I brought a tranny up. Mine tranny. The great Alex Decker and Robbie Brown. I. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Let me <you> say. <laughs> That is, uh, looks like we got uh, one of the Stoker vehicles coming through inspection next. next yeah, next Ray's truck. Right. says he's been sitting in inspection for a while. Yeah, that's is, Ray's daughter, I believe. Is Ray know. still going to hit you on eight <laughs> in the <laughs> countdown, or? You know, uh, I don't care. I think, Ray's, I think we determined that acceptable departure is within range of three. Well, the one of the guys here goes, yeah, we should uh, black flag anybody that leaves early. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's not going to be happening. That's, that's, what I, that's what I do. That's the only way I can get ahead on people. Nelson Imports on the Brant number 95 truck. That's pretty snazzy sounding GM. I am pretty sure Ray's wife and daughter are both running in that stock truck class. I think Ray. That's his cool. daughter. His daughter. It's her first derby, and she's going to be carrying cool. the camera. Oh, nice. Yes. She's going to have the roof camera. She doesn't know it yet. I'll tell you why that'll be awesome. <laughs> you know she's going to flat foot. Yes, Young exactly. Young always flat foot. And, and, and she's also Ray Stoker's daughter. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So something's going to end up on this roof, whether it's her or somebody else. <laughs> something's going to get flipped over. Yep. <laughs> you know, the nice thing about Ray is, like, it's all, it's all we all bust each other's it's balls. Absolutely. And I don't mind people hitting me as, as long as you got a smile. You. <laughs> well, that SOB, every time he hits me, he's got a big smile on his face. He thumbs up to me. It, it don't, you know. It's like getting, That's funny. I like that. I don't mind that. It's like getting hit by Chuck Bowman. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know he's loving it. You know yeah, he's Chuck's having a good man. time. You can't get upset at that. That's... That goes back to the core of the sport, just out there having a good time junking stuff. <laughs> we were, uh, Chuck and I were running against each other one year, and I had a full framer, and he had like a Caprice, 
and <laughs> we, we, we always said if it got to us, we wouldn't hit till the end, because Chuck and I grew up together. Sure. And uh, so it comes on to him and I in a concert. And I'm trying to knock the rear end out of his car, but I don't want to do it. But, you know, I don't want to. Yeah. So we get, like, I hit him and blow a passenger's door open behind, like, behind the driver's door. And so years after the fact, we're talking. He's like, yeah, that one time when it came down to me and you, you broke my ribs. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, dude. He's like, I broke a ribs after that heat. I'm like, no, you didn't. He's like, yeah, I broke a ribs. So uh, I'm like, Chuck. You don't want to do that to friends. Oh, I felt so bad. Yeah, you don't want to do it that. It was terrible. I'm like, I didn't think, I, yeah, it was one time you got me and it kind of. Did you get him checked? No, no, I just knew they were broke. I was all right. I I'm like, breathe. <laughs> you can tell. When you break a rib, you know. And it's there for a while. Yeah. Uh, but Chuck's also the guy that had somebody swing a baseball bat at him once, and he caught it in his armpit and wrapped his arm around it and then hit the guy in the other hand. And woof. Yeah. Woof. Chuck's one of those guys. <laughs> woof. <laughs> woof. Yeah. Actually, I think it was left hand caught it and then hit him with the right. So yeah. I've always enjoyed having Chuck as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> yes, really enjoyed having definitely. Chuck as a friend. But he enjoys himself. Oh, well, Chuck has... He, he he's will never get mad at you. No, you know? that's, no. That's a good I, I, He's looking for a, a full-size car for your guys' show. And he goes, if I can't, though, I, I'm going to get a compact. I'm like, Chuck, they would love to have you the way you drive. Yeah, no doubt. You, you the thing is, if he finds a Lumina, he's going to enter it in the Kings of Old School. Oh, yeah, yeah, class. Class. Without a yeah, doubt. Me, he man. will. He will remember, doubt. remember the year that he had that blue Oldsmobile wagon? It was yes. like a 91 Cutlass, Cutlass wagon. I watched a video of that. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. So I think it was a celebrity wagon, wasn't it? Yeah, it might have been. The yeah, back was been. plowing dirt, and he, he just got his flat tires, and it's still moving around the track. <laughs> oh, yeah. People. And he, has a, he, had, he didn't wear goggles. He didn't have a visor. He's just out there. He's got a helmet that's too small for him, so it was, he had long hair at the time. Yeah. And now he doesn't have any. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> he had long hair at the time, and you could see his hair was, like, hanging out from underneath his helmet, and he's just grinning, and that the helmet didn't fit right, and he's just plowing stuff. And so he come along, come along and hit him in the back end and sent the back tires to the front seat, <laughs> and he just put it in drive and turned around and hit him back about this hard because this is – yeah, no go, and he's just <laughs> grinning the whole way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chuck is definitely one of the Chuck is definitely one of the real good dudes at Derby and I area. He just, yeah, that's what it's about, man. He doesn't care. He just wants to go out nope. and smash stuff and you have know, fun. You know what Buell said to me last night? It made a lot of sense. Never thought about. It. It made a lot of sense. He goes, "The more money you spend, the, the less more, fun you have. The more emotion you have. Oh, absolutely. Well, the backside of that is the less the guys that are not spending money now." If you look around, they're usually the guys having more fun. I'm walking away pissed from the track, and that guy's not giving a shit. But what about what about the guys every show that tell you, I'm just I, I don't want to win. I don't care who wins. I'm just here to have fun. But 90 percent of the time, they're the ones bitching after the show. That's <laughs> that's what absolutely drives me insane. You know what? You got to remember too, though. Some True. guys get so much time and energy, and this is a mental game. You got to struggle with yourself. You put so much time and energy in a car, you love it. You, you're so wrapped into that thing. I usually hate it by the time I get to the show. Um, I hate my car. Okay, that's me. <laughs> okay, so you and me, I have a theory. I have a theory on this. Finish Go. No, what I'm saying, though, is, is well, you, you, the more you put into the... I sometimes say to myself, let me just step back. Yeah. Why don't I go just junk stupid Luminas? I don't give a crap about $300 <laughs> and just go home. But it's not. I'm, I'm chasing the pride. I'm chasing the ego. I'm chasing the competition side of it. Yep. And, and you just get angry. <laughs> well, we were. I was talking with, with Daniel Art one night, and we were going back and forth. And he was actually on the way with his brother-in-law, Dylan, to go pick up a Cadillac. And we were, you know, prices of Midrass, Midrass as compared to ours and this and that. And he's like, dude, why don't you start running Fords? And I'm like... I just don't want to put that time and money into them. No. I mean, it doesn't. I mean, I, it's not I, worth I, it I get the, I get their cool cars and they're fun and they're tough, but in order to build build a Ford to its full potential, you got to run the protectors. You got to do pressurized. In, in our do area, they're and, just non-competitive because you cannot yes. do that stuff. And yeah. let's say let's say you do build one and, and get it to that point, then you, you can't run it anymore. Yeah, yeah. Uh, think how many guys in our area like go to a bigger show and then they bring it home and it sits there because they like, well, I can't I can't run these hump plates. I can't run these kickers. I can't run. Yep. The, uh, the, the more money you spend in the car, you see all these guys that are running all this equipment. So you buy all that equipment. Hold and, on. This car right here is t- – I don't think you can tilt. Can you tilt in this class? I just want to say something. I'm, I'm, that is tilted. Yes. But he pulled the front of the core support down. I don't know if that – the way the fender bends. See the arc it pitches down from the firewall down? Yes, that is not stock. <laughs> and I wonder if you can't do it in the class. I wonder if they're going to catch that. I don't know if you can or can't. I, I guess you got to. Just yell to Brandon real quick. <laughs> Tyson, hey. But is that, yeah, but is he running in the stock class or is he running with you it's guys? It's not a stock class. It's 80s. I'm sorry, 80s class or yeah. is he running with you guys? No, 80s. Because um, that is definitely tilted. I'm sorry, we, uh, I haven't seen that. I just want to go ahead, Chris. We, we, we were talking about, you know, the, 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 um, 
amount of effort does not necessarily correlate with the amount of fun. No. You've got, you've got, you've got, you see all these guys that are running all this big name stuff. You see the, the particular brand, pick whatever you want. You, you spend all this money, you buy that stuff, you put it in the car. Well, now you automatically presume that your game is going to be better. Yes. Now you spend all this time. Okay, I've got all this stuff in it. I've spent all this time. It's got to be the baddest car that I've ever built. I'm going to do better than I ever have. <laughs> Obviously, when I show up at the track, I'm going to be the baddest Emma for there. Yep. And I'm going to win this derby. Yep. Been so there. you, 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 there. you, from within, you psych yourself up to a point where, yeah, it's automatic. I'm going to win this thing. And then you get there, and and when it doesn't go that way, that blow that you take is just it. it a lot it, of it's it internal. Stings. It's yeah. so bad. Yep. It stings. It's a mental game. Sometimes well, you got to men- you got to screw percent, with your own nine, head. Ninety percent of this game is half metal. Yep. Ninety percent of this game is half metal. That's right. There's some math there. Sixty um, percent of the time, it works every time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after man. after uh, after Blizzard Bash this year, Yogi Berra, Berra I was line, by the way. I was talking with uh, with Bobby Brockway. We were talking about Metal Mayhem because Bobby's had some great runs out there. I said something about going back. He's like, no, nah, I don't want to run stock. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah. He's like, I'd, I'd rather build a car. And I'm like, that is just crazy. I mean, uh, the, the, the time that they have to build, put in their cars to run, you know, the team shows like Team Guard does, you know, I, I'd be like, yeah, I'm, you know, let's go run a, okay, let's, okay. Let's go run a, let a stocker back, car. Let, let me be the opposite of that, Brian. Let's okay. imagine that, and I'm going to call him cookie cutter, and that's going to piss people off, but let's imagine Vixer's somewhat cookie cutter because – you need this, this, yes. this, and this, and this. So let's imagine Bobby Brockway has all that sitting on the ground. Which then he might. He just, I mean, he, he might does. have it. Yeah. So let's say he just takes it and shoves it in the car. How much more time did Bobby Brockway put in his Metal Man car or his Blizzard Bash car than I put in my New Yorker for Brum? Which, bad example of me, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Did he really put 100 more hours? No, probably not. He still had to put the tranny in. He still had to put the rear end in. He just did a little bit more here, a little bit more here. I don't we know. talked about that. Those guys, we talked I about think that they last like it. night. That, that that exact topic about how if you're going to build it 95% of the way there, yeah, put in put in the, the extra, extra little bit for the extra for the, for the extra advantages. Why you know why go, why come in why come in with a car that's good enough when you can have a car that's going to be great? Yeah. Well, Mike Brown said to me he looks at his cars and he's and he, I, I I hear this lately when I'm working on my cars. Have pride in your work. Oh yeah, absolutely. When you get done and you look around that, the worst thing if I'll, I'll tell everybody this: if you walk around your car because I do it all the time and you say. Eh, good enough. You just lost that derby. Yeah, that'll work. I'll guarantee you, I can tell you 50 times in my life where I've said to myself, boy, I should cut that firewall a little bit more, and that's the reason that took me out. I Absolutely. should change that tire. Cause I broke last it. year. And, and you get mad at yourself, yeah. but if you would have just gone that extra 5%. Nope. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, trophies are out there on Randy's truck. So okay. Cool. Uh, we'll come on and look. Uh, Perfect. Okay. We're, we're going to finish the podcast real quick, and we'll, we'll, we'll convene. All right. We'll see you later. Thanks, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Terry from Badass Trophies. Yep. Terry. Awesome. Who, awesome who, trophies, man. Who builds, don't you have a Badass Trophy? Yes, I do. Who builds that Badass, badass trophy Trophies. was Badass. That was yeah. awesome, wasn't it? You got to hang it somewhere in your house. It's it's right. Right. It was really oh, nice. It was a good trophy. When yeah. it got there, it was like, dude, this is what we wanted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you deserve that. It's yeah. a piston that looks like a microphone. It's, really it's cool, cool, isn't it? Awesome. Yeah. He said when, when Brian and I had talked to him, he's like, I already have it in my head. Yeah. He, he pictured it, and then he built it. Unfortunately, we didn't yeah. get it in time to give it to you at the banquet last year. but we got plug wires on it. Yeah. It looks like microphone cables. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, I love it. It sits right in our living room. You have the badass trophy in New York and State. I think, <laughs> I think it's I think it's funny that last year I got the lifetime achievement award from you guys. Yeah. You earned it. Hash, I, I just I just think yeah those was, are turnouts that sounded like shit. I just think it was premature. Wait, just wait, just wait. We got we got good stuff coming. We saw him last night, the '88 car, Elmer. Isn't that no? Isn't that Dale Earnhardt Jr.? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, <laughs> Dale, is that you? <laughs> Pretty sure you should go to him ask him if you can get his autograph. I've seen 40 JYD shirts. Yeah, there's yeah. definitely some JYD <laughs> fans here. <laughs> I wore mine yesterday. I wonder, like, after Blizzard Bash, after that run they had, I wonder, like, did the stock in their shirts go up? Because oh, sure. it was one of the best runs. Yes, it did. Remember how we were about to pass out from fumes, about <laughs> to fall asleep because it's 2.30 in the morning, <laughs> and then them guys fall on a track, dude, and it was, it was probably the best heat of the weekend. It was. A, I might a, call that. JYD was junk <laughs> Yeah, they're definitely on the gas. Shot for sure. Hey, Josh Buell's coming back. Ladies and gentlemen, the Josh Buell. Josh, Josh, Josh Buell. Buell. Yeah. But you can't use it in New York. <laughs> <laughs> most of it. <laughs> you can't use it. it most shows in New York. You want to jump in on this? Yeah, you want. 
Oh. I would, but if he says he doesn't want to, we don't need to break his arm. He had a long night last night. He did. Josh had a long night making sounds that I've never heard a human being make in my life. <laughs> First thing he did to wake up, he's like, I need a beer. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, They're old. Mr. Decker's carry-ons for the plane right home. Please yeah, don't touch them. Yeah, you those, Buell. Don't touch them. <laughs> no. And you thought you thought the equipment bags were overweight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll carry those Which on. Which we carry 100 pounds of tires those. on. That old lady will bitch next sir, to me on the way back. Sir, you can't carry that. No, this is my child. You don't understand. Yes, I'm not. I'm not leaving you. <laughs> this is my baby. Is it? Two away. Okay, so within the next two cars, I got to get over an inspection line. What time are we at? Eleven thirty. Yeah, we're we're right about. We're coming up on quarter after eleven. My phone's been saying eleven ten for the last hour, so I'm pretty oh. sure that that connection is gone too. Mine says eleven ten. Oh, it doesn't? Yeah. Right, maybe we are okay. How long have we been on? Mine says two thirty. <laughs> yeah, for 45 minutes. We got, we got, we got to, we got to go finish the setup and stuff. So I'm thinking about, about capping this. We'll get this stuff uh, thrown up there for everybody at home, and uh, we'll be back with some semblance of a post-race show. We'll interview some of the drivers after the fact. We can get a hold of any of them up here. I believe they're doing payout up here. Do you, do you think it'd be possible to talk to Josh Decker after the show? I'm all fuck. I can't wait to put my foot in that gas, man. Yep. That motor is nasty in that SOB, and I'm like itching right now. <laughs> How's, uh, I'm gonna junk somebody. Absolutely. Give it yourself. Story of my life. Story of my life. But uh, we're gonna get this stuff put together and get ready to go here. There goes one of the cast and backs, the KO2 car. He's gonna have the in-car camera in uh, um, in the compact division, number 99. I believe that's Tony uh, Tony Burkhart's car. Saw some pictures of that. It's a good-looking ride. Yep, yeah, Tony Burkhart. Is it bad that there's no inspectors out there at the moment? <laughs> oh, you know what? I bet you they did. They went over here where it's dry. Yep. They're inspecting over there where the ground's still frozen. That's exactly track is, what they're I mean, doing. The track isn't in bad shape, though. Dude, my I mean, car looks so considered. nasty. Yeah, I can't we're even call it mine. It's not we're going to have to go over and check that out. The car I'm running looks so bad. That's, we'll, uh, we'll get that stuff put together. And uh, I think that's going to do it for us this time around. We're going to be back a little bit later on. So we'll check back. Everybody have a good afternoon. Jump online. And, uh, mm-hmm. of course, big thanks to Napa and all the sponsors to help make the show possible. Um, and above all else, next year you have to get to this show. This show has gotten bigger and bigger. Yeah. From last year to this year, it has exploded. Yeah. yeah. And it's only, I mean, there's just about, realistically, look around, they have just about outgrown this place. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, there's, there's absolutely. not much room left. So good good things on deck, and, uh, and we're going to do it again a little bit later on. We appreciate everybody coming and, and hanging out with us here for a little while as we pregame from Napa Winter Slam Trackside. We appreciate it. Oh, and sorry, I did that. we are going to <laughs> see you guys a little bit later on. Thanks for joining us. Can somebody help me? I got a but Can somebody help me answer some of these Facebook messages? I, I don't know what they want. Okay. Do you need any help right this minute? Anything I can do for you? No. Okay. I gotta get I gotta get equipment set up. <laughs>